guys, Doug here. It's nice. Well, it's it's sunny out, but it's it's not warm. It's windy and it's miserable. It's a pretty decent day, especially since uh, we have had no snow here in Central PA. Uh, we had like an inch and it melted in the same day or whatever. We've had flurries, but nothing has stuck. It's still grass, so um, pretty cool. But you know, I kind of miss the snow a little bit, but. It's been a while since I put out a video, um, aside from like my Haspen stuff, but that, that was just backlog um, videos that I had. And uh, so I haven't done any updates lately. So I um, figured I'd do something to at least say that I'm still around and alive. And uh, I figured I'd go over some of the projects that I have here uh, coming up. And one that I'm especially uh, pleased to announce that I have. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So first up here we have my truck. I haven't driven this in like a month or so. Uh, the starter went out on it. Or something happened with the starting system. Um, basically, I was out and about doing errands. And I tried starting the truck back up and it just made this really bad grinding noise. Luckily, I was only like two miles away and I have AAA. So I got it towed home for free and it's been sitting here. I had a friend replace the starter so it has a brand new starter in it but it still makes the same exact noise that it made before. So for now, it's pretty much just sitting until uh, springtime when it's warm out and then I can work on it more. And you can kind of see that it's going to need some body work in addition because you know this is rusting out here and the door because all of the, the window seals are bad. Uh, the door is filling up with water, so almost the entire bottom end of it right now you can see is starting to bubble out. And the rocker, you can see where I had fixed it before, where the bondo is cracking, it's rusting out there again too. So I have some body work to do on this. I also have in the works a, um, a transmission swap for this thing, and I will go down to the donor truck now and talk about that. So here's the donor truck. It's a 1973 Dodge Custom 300, or D300 rather. Um, obviously it's pretty much the same body style. This is before they started putting the Ram designation on the truck. So this is, my truck's technically a first generation Dodge Ram, and this is like the generation before it or whatever else. But it's all the same. It has the same exact 318 inside of it. Although since it's a 73, it's pre-EPA, which is kind of nice. Let me see if I can find where the hood latch is. Here it is. So it's pre-EPA. I was trying to get started, but the uh, the solenoid over there is all fucked up. But um, it runs, or I was told it ran. There's no EPA junk on it. There's no, like the charcoal canister and all that stuff would be over here. And it's just basically bare bones. But the reason why I bought this there is not for the engine but for the transmission and it has a suicide tank on it which is really nice but as you can see the shifter it's a four speed which I really like having manual vehicles just because I think they're more fun to drive so since it's the same engine basically everything from the bell housing backwards should bolt right up to my truck and obviously the hump is a little bit higher than an automatic would be so I'd have to cut out the floor and whatever else but I need to redo the floor of my truck anyways and then another possibility is swapping this into it which is a Dana 60 I believe is what I had found it out to be which I'm not going to crawl down and look at it right now but you know, it's a dually axle so since I'm swapping in the manual anyways it'd make everything go a little bit smoother since the frame's the same and I can just reuse the the drive shaft and the uh, the center support bearing there and everything so enough of that here's my car which I haven't driven in a while as you can see it's a 1215 expiry on this and I went to get inspected and the driver's side wheel bearing was shot in it or the passenger side wheel bearing was shot in it so I took it to a mechanic and I had him look at it and they quoted me like $3,200 or something to fix this thing which is a big, big old no because I paid two grand for this car and I only drove it for a year and they're already saying it needs all this work. So 
I I got my other truck, you know, the this the 86 Dodge fixed. I put the bed on it. Got that inspected instead. Then when spring came around, I I parked this down here. It's been here ever since. So this will actually be going away um, this year in 2017, just because it's been sitting here for so long. It's degrading in value. I don't want to pay to have somebody fix it or anything else. I just want to get it out of my hair because I'm getting too many vehicles. So, with that explained, let's get to the newest project, which I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys about. So here's my newest toy. It's a 1982 Dodge Rampage, and it's based, it's an L body, it's based on the Dodge Omni, and it's basically Dodge's version of the El Camino, whatever. It's a light duty truck, it's a, a half ton carrying capacity, and it has a little four cylinder in it. And I really like it because it has a four speed manual in it too. The inside here is pretty bare bones. I bought this off of Mr. Modified, and I think it came this way when he bought it. But he was selling it, and I'm like, I'm on it, uh, especially with my truck issues. So I went over to his place, and I looked at it, and then a couple days later, he drove it over to me and delivered it. And I've put about 1,200 miles or so on this thing already, which is not too bad. I've been driving back and forth to work, and I'm taking it upstate or whatever. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. I am starting to wonder though, um, this is probably neglect on my part, but the, uh, the transmission is having issues shifting into first and second. And um, I think it's something with the bushing uh, Mr. Modified had said. So I'll be going over to his place next weekend and looking at it with him and seeing what's going on. I just barely got the title for it yesterday and I have yet to inspect it but um, my main concern with that is, is we have emissions testing down here well it's not testing but it, it's a visual check and gas cap check and being an 82 this had EPA stuff in it but it's missing the the smog pump the charcoal filters uh, both cats on it you know, it's missing all this stuff I'm hoping I can just get around that by saying it's a Canadian rampage or it was in Canada at one point because they don't have EPA regulations. I added the truck box just the other day. Uh, it's just a plastic one from Tractor Supply. And I just I bolted it down to the bed, which I, I'm kind of regretting that I did because now there's you know, holes in the, uh, the, the immaculate bed. There's no rust on it at all. But uh, I can just patch those back in later. I have a lot of plans for this. I kind of think I'm maybe going with a rally theme with it type of deal. Maybe uh, I kind of want to add a, uh, a roof rack to it, or maybe just add a, uh, you know, just a, um, I'm trying to think of the word, like a heavy rack type deal, with LED lights on or whatever. Maybe a brush car with lights on it. And uh, you know, just kind of make it unique. They only made about 42,000 of these over the course of three years. So, uh, there's not too many of these things around and like I said earlier this thing is bare bones everything's manual you know the windows and everything no passenger mirror which is was an option and it's totally legal um, so yeah I guess I'll I'll give it a start here once let me uh, turn that down turn down the beats it's a carbureted 2.2 liter four cylinder. This is the first time I'm starting it up today. It's a little cold. But it's not too loud inside of here. Um, you do get some road noise because there's no carpet. There's uh, there's no headliner, but there is a ton of stickers on here. And uh, no power steering, power brakes. And it goes forward fine. And we put it in reverse. And it goes reverse fine. There's no air conditioning either. It's kind of will suck in the summer because there's no split window, but whatever. But here it is outside. It sounds like there might be an exhaust leak somewhere up here in the front, but I'm not totally sure I'll let the shop deal with that when I bring it in for inspection. And it has 
might see them. I walk around, it has duels on These are fake. Uh, the exhaust pipe actually runs up here, and then Mr. Modified Weld, the cross beam across here with the uh, the tailpipes coming out. So it's kind of uh, an interesting setup. To, you can see it pretty well from this side. Yeah, see? So, uh, it does change the sound a little bit. It does make it a little bit louder at higher revs, but it's whatever. But I have a couple things to do this, and I plan... Get inside, it's cold. I plan on doing some uh, some videos of me repairing on this because the YouTube videos on this thing are, are pretty slim. So I'm hoping that I can get some videos out to help people that might have these things. And if you want to see some more, if you have a question on it, just hit me up. I actually have a, uh, a massive service manual for it that I just got yesterday. And uh, so it details everything that needs fixed on this thing. And I'll put out, you know, updates on this as I, you know, mod it and whatnot. And hopefully it passes my inspection. So before I leave, I just want to say, uh, give a big shout out to a new friend that I just met a couple weeks ago. His YouTube name is Get Famous or Die Trying. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He lives pretty close to me and he has uh, a Yamaha XT250 and he has some other dirt bikes and he's pretty good at riding them. And he just got a bunch of new video equipment so go over and check him out and uh, you know, give him some tips on his videos and whatnot. I'll put a link down in the description. And uh, also check out the all Train Lawn Track Forum. The 2017 build-off had just started uh, about four days ago, so forth now, and that goes till November 30th, so you have about 10 months to build something, so go over there and check that out, and I also got more stickers in stock, so if you want, need some more form stickers or whatever, send me a message, either, or you know what, just send me a message on the all-terrain lawn track form, that way it's a little bit easier for me to keep track of them, so, thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to everybody later.